With the nights getting longer, the evil is stronger, and there's much to fear. It's the most horrible time of the... Oh! Hello there! Welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. You found me getting some popcorn ready in advance of tonight's feature, the holiday classic Silent Night, Bloody Night. However, before we settle in for that, we have the next chapter in The Great Alaskan Mystery. Last week, our heroes were rescued from the perils of nature and stock footage only to end up at the same indigenous village as the Nazi spies. After retrieving the Paratron death ray from the Nazis, Jim Hudson and his team are double-crossed on the flight home. The pilot is shot, sending the plane careening out of control. So fix yourself some snacks, a beverage, and see what happens next in The Great Alaskan Mystery. Welcome back, everyone. I'm wearing my special holiday sweater in honor of the seasonal celebrations. The garish colors are in no way an outward manifestation of the stress caused by mandated merriment. Because this is the Christmas weekend, I've put the classic Christmas movie for tonight's feature. Fans of Hallmark holiday films will be familiar with the plot. A young person from the city returns to the rural hometown hoping to sever all ties and arteries only to discover reasons to stay forever and ever and ever. Initially released as Night of the Dark Full Moon and later, as our print is labeled, Death House, it's the holiday classic Silent Night, Bloody Night. I'm festive. Tonight's movie, as even its Wikipedia page notes, is not to be confused with the similarly named Silent Night, Deadly Night, the controversial 1984 slasher with a deranged killer dressed as Santa Claus. Although both did see remakes in the 2010s, and both had sequels that were largely flashbacks to footage from the first movie. However, it was Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2, that gave us the legendary line reading, GARBAGE DAY! Tonight's feature does have its own horror pedigree worth highlighting. The lawyer from earlier in the picture is Patrick O'Neill, who went on to play the president of the Men's Association in The Stepford Wives and the head of the villainous company in The Stuff. Diane is played by former Warhol superstar Mary Warnov, who had an extensive career after this, most notably in Eating Raoul, a role she reprised for a brief cameo in Chopping Mall, Terrorvision, and sundry Roger Corman-affiliated productions. Speaking of producing, this was co-produced by Lloyd Kaufman, who just a few years later would co-found Troma Entertainment and was distributed by Gonzo film outlet Canon Films. You'd think that with all that, the movie would be interesting. Keep an eye out for an upcoming flashback sequence featuring sundry other members of Warhol Circle, including Candy Darling and On Dean. And now, back to Silent Night, Bloody Night. And that brings us to the end of Silent Night, Bloody Night. So I guess the killer was really... No one! No one we'd ever seen in the movie up to that point. Lovely. Anyway, here's a preview of next week's movie. Run and tell the neighbors, it's Barbara Steele's birthday. To celebrate, we'll be featuring the original queen of the gothic screen's 1963 classic, The Ghost, on the Busan Midnight Movie. Don't hang about, you'd be dead wrong to miss this. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, our special Christmas feature and the holiday itself has come to an end, which means I can get out of this ridiculous outfit and start being myself again. Ah, much better. Ah!